Hello boys and girls and welcome to another video with Cast on the Mesma channel. In today's video I want to introduce you guys to my new villager trading system or villager trading hall uh, that uh, as you can see looks pretty neat with all the villagers side by side here. It takes care of a lot of the things that you would expect uh, an automated system to take care of. And this is just a simple version. And back here we also have the advanced version which is not just uh, a bigger version of this because this is infinitely expandable as is this but this has extra features as well and this video is to explain all the nice stuff that this system will do for you uh, and if everything goes well the next video is going to be uh, a tutorial so the first feature as I mentioned uh, is to just have uh, all of your villagers in a single place in a very organized fashion that makes it easy for you to trade as well as make decisions uh, and just you know take items from whatever storage you have and trade with these guys let me pick up some emeralds here so let's check out this guy this guy is not very much promising this guy not too much as well and this guy has fortune 3 so i probably want to trade this guy i don't have any books or do i okay and now this guy is going to be locked with this trade but about these guys i can get rid of those by pressing the note blocks in front of me and the system will replenish this so this new guy already has a profession he has punch one not great really <laughs> really not great now he has mainly wow <laughs> i guess it's the, it's the time of the day that the time is not passing on this map but i guess it's somehow the time of the day where he he changes profession so i can just lock this in maybe by just doing one trade like this and let's see this other guy punch one okay let's get rid of this guy so this is how you operate you can as well try to change the profession by changing the the, uh, the tables here or the, the workstations there uh, after they take a, a little while to take the profession sometimes so see this guy is a nitwit doesn't have any profession let's try for example to get rid of these three guys all at the same time and then the system basically knows that it has to replenish this lamp here indicates that we are, we still have villagers in the system and those villagers come from your villager breeding system that uh, you should have one i'll try to link you guys uh, in the description with uh, some villager breeders that you can find uh, in the internet and uh, when this lamp is on means the system is trying to place villagers inside the system but as you can see here uh, since the system is completely full uh, the system is not looking for any other places to put villagers because uh, it doesn't need to so this guy trades coal which is good because it's rather cheap uh, and this guy doesn't so i don't like him this guy doesn't have a profession because he's new here maybe let's get rid of this guy no coal no coal let's get rid of those two as well and let's see the system at work i can actually show you what's going on here at the back uh, there are a bunch of rails in there but let's see what the mine car does when it returns so it picks up the villager tries to find the correct place to put it like this then it returns oh i just broke it <laughs> then it returns to this position and goes back there so when the system is completely full this redstone line turns off indicating that uh, we have all the villagers that we need and now here if we look at the front this lamp ha has been turned off which means we don't have any villagers uh, for replacing any one here so at this point if i try to get rid of anyone let's see the new guys this guy still doesn't have a profession let's check on our on our uh, librarians here stole many sweeping edge so this guy is a little bit more interesting but not that much so if you get rid of this guy now uh, the system doesn't do anything you can see that the minecart is still here because we don't have this guy available uh, but through this tube here you can introduce new villagers here i actually don't have any in my inventory so let me pick up this guy so the moment we get a new guy here it's going to come through this tube here there is this line block back here so that the villager doesn't take any damage but this is not strictly necessary double i will show you why this guy's gonna start bouncing so the minecart's not able to pick him up but still the system knows that uh it's missing one villager right here so now he's able to pick up the villager not able to place it anywhere on its way and uh, on its way back it was able to find a place where some line turned off all the logic for the system is here and uh, this is just a repetitive pattern here really easy to build really compact when you press the button all that happens is there is a trap door down here that opens uh below the the villagers feet and then uh you see uh, we just get rid of the villager but you can do whatever you want you can send this guy to a conversion chamber or just recycle the villager 
or just use it to breed a new baby villager and then get rid of the adult version or you can do whatever you want you just have to build the basic system and the basic system is going to take care uh, of just keeping your system full whenever villagers are available so it's easy to manage so now let's take a look on what you guys are probably waiting for <laughs> which is the advanced system it does the same thing uh, as the basic system with a, uh, just one more feature that i will show you guys so see this guy's pretty nice protection for uh silk touch and frost walker 2 pretty nice and this one has loyalty 3 well pretty rare cases where we're gonna use this but this is really nice uh, this guy same deal so see this is this is where I start to find the difference here so these two offer the same thing uh, for different prices uh, of course now it costs one emerald but remember discounts are temporary and eventually those guys are going to change price but in this case this guy is selling for 18 officially uh, one for a discount and at 24 so this guy sells the same thing but only more expensive so I don't really want this guy here uh, which is why I'm going to get rid of this guy. So, see, I have a kind of a lock system here to prevent me from just getting rid of this guy I, by accident. So now I can just click this button and this guy, you can hear the guy taking damage and now this guy's gone. And when the system has more villagers, uh, which it doesn't have it now, it will replenish. We can do this. We can do a quick demonstration here. I'll just place the villager here because I don't want the minecart to have to go all the way through the system now. But uh, the, the villager has been picked up. Uh, and it sounds like this guy already has a place here. Uh, one cool thing that I like to do sometimes, let me try to find this guy now. So loyalty is here and the other loyalty guy now is a fortune too, which is much better. Not perfect, but much better. But one thing I like to do is to leave this open. So if I get another guy that I don't like, I just keep cycling and cycling through until I find a nice guy. And once I find the perfect guy, I just close the door here. All right, so this guy is fine for now. Uh, see here, I have a bunch of cleric guys and I have unlocked all of their trades. So I can basically get XP bottles. Uh, but uh, those are quite expensive because three emeralds for one little bottle of this is not really what I want. So now, instead of get getting rid of these guys because, you know, they're not going to really change that much. This is all you can basically see and get from these guys it's, there's not a lot of variation i can just uh, get them to lower their prices so instead now i'm gonna press this button and actually i can press this button for all of them <laughs> all at once and what happens now is that instead of dying these guys are gonna fall to the water to the water streams here and uh, they will have to face this guy which is a zombie holding a pretty powerful sport here uh, and basically these guys are gonna get converted quite quickly by the zombie uh, once they become zombies themselves they start to help the other zombie which speeds up the process further <laughs> and yeah th this is those guys uh, getting converted so yeah I forgot to show you guys but there was a mod card here and this mod card went all the way back up here and dropped the converted villager uh, inside this little chamber here so from this point on I can just keep looking at this face <laughs> or just press the, the the note block button here uh, and it's going to shoot this guy with a weakness arrow that will last uh, that will give this guy weakness effect for 30 seconds i also get a golden apple from this dispenser here or dropper and i can feed this guy the the, the golden apple and now this guy is going to convert in about five minutes this guy is going to become a villager and we also have a automate uh, automated detection here so if i press this button now i have a command block down here and a command block will just uh convert this guy instantly so let's do this and now this guy has become a villager which means he, he's able to swim and now this minecart is going to be sent back down there it's going to pick up another one of these guys put this guy right here uh, and the new villager, which is not a zombie anymore, is going to be placed here. The system is going to detect that uh, this guy is needed somewhere, uh, possibly here. Uh, and then the minecart will pick up this guy. Uh, minecart's probably going around here because of what I mentioned before. When these guys arrive here first, uh, they keep bouncing on the this line block, uh, which means uh, the minecart goes and without being able to pick them up. But eventually it will be this guy will be picked up and as you can see the guy is back uh, in the system but uh, as you can see now the prices are a little bit better and we can finally get our xp bottles for just one emerald and i can do this for all the five villagers so let's maybe try to do this so 
Arrow of Weakness. Uh, by the way, this is full of arrows. <laughs> Apple, fast conversion. Minecart. Goes all the way. Back, picks up a new guy. Drops, drops him off here. Minecart is going to be waiting here. Uh, and then, once again, Arrow. Apple. Fast conversion. And there we go guys, now we have all of our 5 villagers converted, so now we can buy XP very cheap, but you can set up this entire system the way you want. Look at this guys, how nice this is. This guy sells uh, arrows of low falling, uh, which you can use for mini games. it's probably really nice. That's for, that's for only 10 seconds, but uh, you can do something out of that. Uh, this is slow, slowness level 6. Lasts only two seconds, but uh, you can probably have fun with that as well if you spam uh, regen. And this guy sells jump boost too, which is pretty nice. Uh, better carry those arrows uh, than potions uh, if you want to stack lots of them. Uh, and these guys gonna sell weakness arrows, which surprise you can use exactly here inside this chest to keep converting your own villagers. As for the redstone, uh, the back here is pretty much the same. Uh, as the back of the simple system and then we have the rail system and the latches that uh, keep track of uh, where villagers are and where villagers are not uh, back here and uh, yeah just for the mud carts to go basically the mud cart goes uh, one way trying to, to find the odd positions and then on its way back it tries to find three uh, even positions uh, to drop the villager in here I use a little trick, because as you can see here, the, the workstations are really close to each other. So I was having a problem where sometimes this villager would attach to uh, a, a workstation on its diagonal, and even this, which is really bad. So what I did here is uh, in 1.17 or even 1.16 uh, Minecraft, we can basically have rails on top of cauldrons. And because the, the, the villagers who associate with cauldrons are usually useless, usually I'm not saying anything, I just have a bunch of cauldrons in here. And as a result, um, let me just show you guys this. The minecart's going to pick up a villager from this position, and then this guy's going to see a lot of cauldrons, which means eventually this guy's going to associate uh, its profession to one of these cauldrons. This happens. So in many cases, you see a new guy get inside the system and he has the leather guy profession which i can't even remember the name correctly for uh and once the guy gets in here this works basically as some kind of protection because the new guy comes with a profession associated with the cauldron once again uh, and then uh, the villager the new villager is not able to associate with any of these uh workstations in here once the villager realizes that uh, he cannot reach the cauldrons anymore uh, the villager is going to try to find a new profession and then he's going to find the profession right in front of it or right in front of him uh which is the correct profession so this is basically a fix for the for the large systems where the villagers can uh, maybe try to get professions from the the workstations diagonal to them so there is this and now finally let me show you how uh, we do the trick here where we either kill the villager or convert it. You already saw the zombie conversion system uh, that goes down here. By the way, lots of really neat tricks here, like using the chains here to guarantee that uh, villagers are not going to get stuck on these corners here. Pre-damaging. Uh, and finally, using the trick here where only um, zombies can actually sink in water and villagers will try to swim up. So basically guaranteeing that uh, whoever is down here is a zombie villager and then uh, this little system should pick up these guys, bring them all the way back up here, uh, having them be inside water here so that uh, once again as zombie villagers they will stay here. But the minute or the second they convert back to villagers they will try to swim uh, which will make them go automatically here, uh, trigger this pressure plate, send the minecart back to pick up other zombie little guys back there or other, other zombie villagers back there and then have this guy wait here be, be picked up by the system and then find a place for the villager inside uh, your trading hall down here but uh, you don't know how I kill the villagers it's just simple process I just use lava here but the system was not easy to come up with uh, you can see the system that I had previously here this, these guys are jumping uh, and yeah basically I had this interface here with two 
node blocks in here and if you press the first one this guy is just it's just gonna open the the trapdoor so this guy falls in lava and i chose lava because this makes the villagers uh die quickly and you need those guys to die quickly because uh on these edges of the system like this is too uh this is too close to where they get picked up so they get replaced really real quick so you need the villagers to die quickly because the next guy might be not so interesting and you might want to get rid of these guys so what it what the system does when i press the other button maybe i should place another villager here if this guy's not jumping if i want this guy to not die and yeah and he's jumping i mean <laughs> i don't think i can do much about it so yeah uh, if this guy is not jumping uh and uh, i i don't want to i don't want this guy to die i can press this other button and then basically it creates a gap in the middle of lava i can do this for this other guy here see so yeah this is exactly what i mean sometimes this system fails because lava flows differently when it's not from the source this is basically what broke this idea uh, and then i came up with this uh which is quite cool uh let me show you the system at work so if i press this button the the trapdoor just opens let me demonstrate and then the, the guy falls in lava and he's going to try to swim in lava because he's very smart uh and if i press the other button look at what happens here you can probably already predict what's going on here so yeah this system is very very safe so see no risk of damage to the villager uh this is crimson woods from the nether so it's not gonna catch on fire uh and the villager just goes through no lava damage at all and trust me i tried so many different solutions until i finally came up with this ridiculously simple solution that i was almost sure was going to fail uh, since I am using all uh, lava sources in here and of course if you remove a lava source lava is going to immediately try to flow uh, which was the way I used it to think but apparently this <laughs> this is just the most stable system of all of them so let me demonstrate here uh, as always click the button click that down there let's place another guy inside uh, and if I press this button actually I can uh, slow down the game let's make it 10 times slower press the button guy starts falling uh, and then lava gets removed from here zero damage to this guy and this is actually very much uh, stable let me demonstrate here i have a total of 16 guys alive here uh if i have all of them yes i guess i do if i press all of these buttons here in slow motion these guys are all going to start to fall and you will see that we'll see all of them so see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so all of them all the 16 are alive no damage no lava the system works perfectly let's try to show you guys from the back here how it creates a little gap and lava doesn't flow i think it takes 1.5 seconds for the lava to flow the system works perfectly and look how simple it is this is the system that i have here uh, on the advanced one but yeah, you can have a different system if you want but i find that this one's perfect kills fast and if it has to keep the villager alive zero damage and uh yeah it does it precisely uh, it's not as neat as this perfect perfectly seamless interface uh i guess this should be a slab in order for this to be tileable but uh, it works nicely and check this out guys basically this guy trades one stone for one emerald and then you can trade that one emerald for one quartz pillar i have 10 of those guys in here as you can see here so basically those guys convert stone into quartz in the overworld how perfect is this there's a command block here uh, in case you guys want to get rid of all of your villagers all at the same time you just press this button it's going to execute this command this map's going to be available for you guys to download you just have to place a torch here and basically every time this villager leaves torch is going to turn on and another villager is going to spawn on top of this this is just to simulate uh how this would behave if you connected this uh, to a villager breeder finally i just want to provide this uh, map download for you guys to try things out and i would be very very thankful if any of you guys came back with some feedback to me because my idea here is to improve the system as best as we can so uh, we as a community we can finally have the best villager trading system of all time i think this is we're getting there uh little by little i think this is pretty good already but 
there's probably a lot of improvements that we can do so if you guys have any ideas uh, you can um, contact me on twitter there's a link in the video description as well as join uh, our discord server and uh, yeah we can talk we can talk about ideas discuss a lot of things there so uh, finally of course thank you guys very much for watching if you like this video just leave a like maybe subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of my inventions and i hope to see you soon Goodbye.